prevent the accumulation of pulmonary secretions, improve the mobilization of retained secretions, improve the distribution of ventilation, and decrease airway resistance. Method for bronchial hygiene, it's act during an active cycle of breathing. You position your hands three inches from the chest and strike the chest in a waving motion. Contraindications, increased intracranial pressure, unstable head or neck injury, active hemorrhage with hemodynamic instability or hemoptysis, recent spinal injury, bronchopleural fistula, flail chest, uncontrolled hypertension, anticoagulation, rib or venous fractures, or osteoporosis. Anterior segment of the lower lobe. So your bed wants to be completely flat. You want to have a pillow under your patient's hip. And then you're going to percuss right here. Show them. Okay, so now we're going to drain the posterior basal segment of the lower lobes. So you want to start with your patient lying prone with the foot of the bed elevated 18 to 20 inches, and then you're going to percuss in the lower segment of the lower lobe. So now we're going to drain the anterior segment of the lower lobe. So your patient is now laying supine with the foot of the bed elevated 18 to 20 inches, and you're going to percuss right here. Now we're going to drain the lateral medial side of the right upper lobe, and the bed is positioned 18 to 20 inches. Okay, so now we're going to do the posterior segment of the middle lobe. The bed is at a 45 degree angle, and the patient is holding a pillow to help you support. This is the apical segment of the upper lobe, and the patient's normally sitting up in bed and just hugging a pillow in front of them. Okay, now we are going to drain the lateral basal segment of the lower lobe. So you're going to have your patient lying on their side, pillow between their knee, and you're going to percuss right 